Well, actually, it was a very serious case for the person who came. Um, she ran a um, petting zoo. Um, and it was interesting. Um, this petting zoo went into parts of the country and communities that don't get to go to the countryside. And sadly, um, a woman came along very keen to meet all of the various animals and the alpaca. In this case, a goat um, ate the contents of her handbag, so she sued the woman oh. who, that's right, who um, owned the petting zoo. And although I read the cases and take them very seriously, and that is a serious mm, case, who's yeah. responsible, who's liable, yeah. um, I had a little sound in my ear, they're not usually allowed to talk to me, saying, um, by the way, um, uh, Judge Rinder, the goat is coming into court. <laughs> You know, I thought to myself, you know, two years ago or five, there I was, doing war crimes, <laughs> trying to apply for international <laughs> arrest warrants. <laughs> now you're doing it with a goat. Exactly, and I'm not sure what the um, polite term, but there it was, and I said, tell me, what's a goat like? What's her personality? Well, she's just like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> and after saying, who on earth is that the thing, the, the goat, pouted at me, turned around and expressed through the medium of what I consider to be contemporary dance. <laughs> The ripped body. Got the ripped body. Yes. What's well, no, I go to the I go to the gym every day, but that's mainly for my mental health. But not through dancing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep it up actually, but there aren't many places to go. No. Because I liked all of you know I'm sort of uh, uh, well. There was once a banner headline about me that said, "Let's party like it's 1899." <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what really happened. I liked all the quick step and, and all of that. So good. Well. Let's you, not you go could. too far. And you can do a backflip, can't you? I can do it. Your yeah, little party trick. That, yeah, but not at all parties, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I could still do the gymnastics for when I was 11. I kept it up. Mm -hmm. After Strictly, I carried on doing the gymnastics. Brilliant. Could you do the splits? Um, not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was I went to the classes and I was walking around. You know, you forget that yeah. your body ages. Yeah. Yes. Not in your case. Oh, I thank mean, you. All right, all right, all right. It's the most extraordinary Keep thing. Keep a grip. I'm <laughs> keeping a grip. I can, you know, I can smell the formaldehyde from here, John. <laughs> Not <laughs> now, listen, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we, you know what? Let's just ignore that, shall we? <laughs> we? How are you so well preserved? People want to know. My mum wants to know. It's extraordinary. It's you can't resist bringing up your mum, can you? I'm, well, you know, there are, yes, I can't. <laughs> I have no special tricks. None at all. I talk to my tomatoes. But that's what that's it. it. That's it. Right. There you are. Well, very I'm, active. I so. am told. That's right. You know. Yes, no, I'm very fit. I once read a book mm -hmm. once that said no woman should be at home um, alone without um, a quartet. There you are. <laughs> With a, without a quartet. Do you know? That, that's not something I think that is down in law. But you are so, you are the person who would know. I, can, I actually yeah. have no idea why you're. <laughs> Shall we have a little uh, look yes. at your latest series? Let's have a look. Let's have yeah. a little look. Start set two. Came over to your house, mm -hmm. and this was the first really big bit of money. Yeah. And what did he ask for? He asked for, um, I think it was £500. You described the circumstances that he came over to your house in. What was his demeanour? I cannot believe you were laughing. Just... You were actually crying in my house. Crying because you were desperate. Absolutely desperate. An absolute piece of <laughs> You really <laughs> are. Now, madam, indoor language, please. <laughs> oh! oh so cool! It's an exciting uh, case today at two o'clock. It also gives you an indication of how seriously we take the court. Sure, yeah. we have cases involving goats, but overwhelmingly, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the cases mm. we deal with are child custody, we deal with cases of landlord and tenant, and it really matters to the people that come. Yeah. And today's case, um, really does show that. And very often people come in and they think perhaps um, they're going to get the better of me and it never, ever works out well. Put no, it, that way, it doesn't. More fool them. Two mm. quite so. More fool them. Mm. Um, now, listen, we have some allegations that we need to run by you. Allegations? Yes, yes. they are. Regarding right. you and your behaviour. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Um, are, you my, we... are you my lawyer? No. <laughs> right, sure. I'm one of your inquisitors. Oh, well, so we... oh. allegation number one right. is... You were having an affair with Benedict Cumberbatch. Is that true or false? <laughs> Are you guilty or not guilty? Uh, most certainly and utterly not guilty. Other than friendship, definitely not. No, God. I mean, not that I wouldn't, but no. no. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's very happily married. Yes. Allegation two. Yes. You have a feud with Craig Revel Horwood. Definitely not. You know, people false. think that he's um, unpleasant. He's the nicest person behind the scenes. Love him. Um, allegation three. Yes. You recently partied all night with yes. Susanna Reid in Ibiza. 
Well, not all night. I mean, if you mean by not by to sort of three o'clock in the morning. That's all night for some that's... of us. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guilty or not guilty, guilty or not? Guilty? I'm, I'm afraid it was some time ago, but I'm guilty. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Rob Rinder, you decided not to go into acting because mm. Benedict Cumberbatch stole all your roles. No, he didn't steal my roles. No, 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 that's not quite right. That's ish. I'm going to go say no comment and add something. I gave up acting when I saw him read the same script because I thought very sensibly I had no talent. <laughs> no. You have ah. lots of talent, just not the same one no, as Benedict no, no. Cumberbatch. No, acting is not one of them. Judge yeah. Rinder, tomorrow mm. yes. you are hosting your first ever dinner party and you still don't know how to turn the oven on. Are you guilty? <laughs> or not okay. guilty. So that's outrageous. I have a friend who's staying with me from New Zealand. Um, her Twitter handle is at Szechuan. And she has insisted I learn how to cook. And yes, it's true, I'm afraid. So oh, guilty. Shocking. Guilty. And you didn't invite me either. You want to come? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you I can't like, risk it. I can't risk it you if you don't know how to you turn the oven dinner on. Do you go to dinner parties? I give them, you, you, but I haven't invited you yet. Not once. There you are. <laughs> why haven't I been invited to a dinner party? No, no, Ask yourself why. why. None of you. No, we haven't. We haven't either. OK, <laughs> final question. Right. You asked Harry Styles' mum to go on a date with him? Yeah. <laughs> OK. So, um, I thought I was incapable of being embarrassed, largely because I always think it's much more important what I think about other people people than what they think about me. It's a very important life lesson. But um, I was at somewhere at the gym and I saw him being so beautifully behaved and well-mannered. Yeah. I wanted to go up to him, seeing as how what a superstar he was. He you know, was helping out with the towels and the rubbish and he was just incredibly courteous. Mm. So I went up to him and I just got a bit starstruck. Oh. <laughs> and um, it started as I really like your music and that sort of thing. And then it went into an embarrassing litany of very, very personal questions, <laughs> resulting in, gosh, your mother has brought you up so beautifully. You've got such lovely manners. I think um, it would be wonderful if um, I were to ever have a child. Perhaps I could give this child to you, to your mum, and maybe it would turn into a young Harry Styles. <laughs> and, um, all I can tell you is I walk with a lovely expression. You know, thing I, carry, I carried a watermelon. There was there was no protruding parts of my body left to cringe with. <laughs> um, and I haven't seen him since, but. Um, <laughs> I have made a little bit of contact uh, with um, Harry's very, very thoughtful and obviously very brilliant mum on Twitter. Yeah. And I'm hoping she's going to forgive me and come to the show. That, uh, does that count as a date? Yeah. Yes. 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 Not yes. our date, though, Jan. <laughs> no, it's not our date. No, no. no. live in hope. Judge Rinder, as you heard, is on weekdays, ITV at 2, two o'clock.